Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. I've got a viewer writing in. This is Josh. Writing in on the email says, Love your videos, man, and I'm hoping you can give me some advice. I'm looking to purchase a new DSLR, and I'm currently stuck between the D7200 and the D750. Adorama has some pretty decent bundles on both cameras right now, and I'm having trouble deciding. I have a Sigma 70-200 F28DG OS, a Sigma 17-50 DC OS F28, and a, and a Nikon uh, 50mm F18 lens that I've kept after selling my previous camera. I'm considering the Nikon D7200 200 with the Sigma 18 to 35 f1.8 lens or the D750 with the 24 to 120 f4 lens. Adorama, Adorama currently has the D750 bu uh, bundle with the battery grip and some other accessories for 1996 and the D7200 with the Sigma 18 to 35 uh, for 1496. Which would you recommend and why? Thanks, Josh. Well, between the two, if you can afford it, my heart goes out to getting the D750 with the 24 to 120 f4 VR. Love the D750. Love that camera. It reminds me of the older Nikon F100 uh, film cameras. Uh, not in the sense of b being older, just that it was such a uh, very, very popular camera, such a wonderful camera. And that's how I feel about the 750. And I love the Nikon 24-120 F4 VR. So great pairing, great system. Uh, and I think you'd really love it. Now, that said, the 7200 is a very good camera. I would rather have the 750 with the 24 to 120 than I would the 7200 with the Sigma 18 to 35 f1.8. Just personal preference. Um, but the 7200 is a very good camera, and that Sigma is a very good lens. Probably not going to focus as fast or be as good overall, certainly not for reach, as the 750 with the 24 to 120. That would be a caveat I'd throw out there. Um, so yeah, my my preference, if it was if it was me, I would get the 750. I love that camera and I love that lens. Uh, if you're going to be able to use your Sigma 70 to 200 on that camera, no problem. Your 17 to 50, you can sell it, get some money back from that, and your 50 will still work great on the 750. So that's what I would do. And uh, again, if it's for, for financial reasons or if some reason you actually end up preferring the added maybe reach of the crop uh, 7200, then it's not a bad choice. I just would go with the 750 because to me, I, I like the full frame. I like the ability to use full-frame lenses as designed. I like the shallower depth of field. The incredible high ISO of the D750 is better than the 7200, and I love that 24 to 120 f4 VR. What would you guys do, though? Do you agree with me? Would you go with the 750? Would you go with the 7200? Is there another option you'd choose? Let us know in the comments below. Let, let's, let's know what you would do. Let's help out Josh. What would you do and why? Uh, looking forward to seeing your feedback below. Thanks for your question, Josh, and stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.